Okay, um, this is the final part of the respiration lecture is just basically what do we need to do uh, to look after our system? Okay, so um, the first things that we want to do is things that we don't want to do, things we want to avoid. Okay, so um, in the first semester we talked about uh, tobacco uh, and briefly about marijuana. Uh, basically, anytime we're inhaling any form of smoke, so whether that's cigarettes, cigars, marijuana, vape as well, anytime you're putting things inside of your lungs that shouldn't be there, okay, there's the potential to damage uh, those internal structures, okay, leading to things like emphysema, uh, bronchitis, or any inflammation of those airways. Okay, that is uh, not going to be good for your lungs. Um, the other thing we want to avoid is exposing yourself to air pollution. Uh, now, sometimes that's not totally within your control, um, but the particulate matter, these are the tiny par particles, microscopic particles that float around in the air. In a high pollution situation, there is more of them. And again, if you expose yourself to breathing those things in, they can damage um, your lungs. Now, what that actually means for you guys is when we have fires through summer and the start of fall and there's a lot of ash in the air, you want to stay inside because you don't want to let that stuff get into your system. That's probably the primary risk in Southern California. Also, um, potentially smog from cars um, can be damaging as well. We see a higher risk or a higher rate of asthma of people who grow up closer to freeways, uh, particularly the 710 freeway, which carries a lot of uh, diesel guzzling trucks. Okay, so down along San Pedro, down towards the port of Long Beach in LA, the rate of asthma is higher because of that exposure to air pollution. Okay, so now the things that you should do, um, exercise regularly, uh, that's going to strengthen the muscles and the overall function of the system. So muscles we're looking to strengthen here uh, through exercise of the intercostals as well as the diaphragm. In a highly trained uh, athlete, you will see a much more efficient system. Those muscles are much more efficient at contracting, relaxing to pull, mu to pull air in and out. Uh, the last thing, which is particularly evident for now uh, in our current situation, is washing your hands. Okay, so... Uh, the coronavirus uh, or COVID-19 is a respiratory virus. Um, you want to ex uh, decrease your exposure to any type of respiratory virus by washing your hands and not allowing it to enter your system. Okay, so right now, um, that's how people are struggling with this. It, you know, it affects their respiratory system. And the best way to do that is to wash your hands uh, so that you're not coming into contact with it and then touching your mouth when you eat or just because touching your mouth and nose, um, you're keeping that uh, viral pathogen out of your respiratory system, keeping yourself healthy. Okay, um, that's lecture for today. Uh, I will set you some work to look at some specific conditions that affect the respiratory system, but I'll post that uh, a little later. All right, stay healthy. Bye, guys.